part of my DNA going to be activated when you can see true people? When, when are you going to be able to discern spirits, God? When, why is it that you got to get a reading? Why can't you read your own self? Why you got to stand up in a church line to get prayer, God? Why can't you heal your own self? This is what I'm here for to help you heal yourself. This is the part of the story that I decided to play. When you going to do your part? Because we are all members of the so-called body of Christ. What member are you? I'm going to talk about the 144,000 today. I figure since it's Sunday, we can have a little church. Now, I can't be on here alone today. Matter of fact, I got a time on because yesterday I was live for four hours. That's a lot for an introverted person like me. Wait, let me turn this music on. But that's what the topic is going to be about. Hey, Miss Ben. So, I was just saying, Miss Ben, so I'm not going to be here long. I got a timer. Remind me in case this timer, because this is my little old phone. This is my old phone, my backup phone. In case this timer. Oh, wait, let me start it. 55 minutes, only an hour. I'm, I'm starting at 55 because I'm already there five minutes. I gotta go. Because I never talked that long before. <laughs> but you get on TikTok and you realize that that time flies, especially if it's your patient and stuff like that, right? So, 54 minutes. So let's jump into this. I wanna talk about the 144,000 today. This is not gonna be about health and all of that. I just figure um, I'd share this here from my perspective and leave it on my YouTube channel for those people who want to get a spiritual aspect outside of religion. I know religion say certain people is, you know, the people and all of that. But I want to break it down as I see it. Wait one second. I, um, I just say something spicy and my nose is going to... So let's get a clean start up in here. 144,000, that's the topic today. Who are they? What does this number mean? First and foremost, let's talk about numerology just for a little second here. In your spiritual journey, you realize uh, there's frequencies, there's codings. <laughs> there's codings in the universe. And if you know anything about numerology, I want you to best understand. We're just doing a little, little little surface understanding of numerology by speaking of the number nine. The number nine I want to share with you is a very high frequency number. It is the highest number. Like if you look at zero through nine, we're talking zero through nine, nine is going to be the highest. Nine is everywhere in this matrix. Nine is repeated in this matrix as being a powerful point of energy right so for example you've you probably heard cats having nine lives that's impressive that's a divine frequency uh, mothers they carry their baby for nine months nine that's impressive divine frequency it's letting you know life this is life right even people with certain hair have nine eater hair coily hair Nine being a powerful frequency. This type of hair actually defies gravity because it has a life force in it, right? It has a frequency about it, right? Nine. Your DNA strands of the body. Nine. The, the coily strands in your back. Rising up Jacob, Jacob, Jacob's ladder is equivalent in the biblical text is equivalent to nine, right? I've seen God face to face and I have lived. Nine. So I'm trying to t share with you how important or how this frequency rather is powerful. Then you have like, you have music. Music is energy and frequency in life too, like right? So you have music that is attuned to this frequency, like 432 hertz of healing frequency. When you add the four, four plus the seven, plus I mean, plus the three is seven. And then you add two more, and then we go back at nine, right? Nine. You getting where I'm going here? I need you to understand that before we move further. Okay. 
So now that we know about the number nine, as far as numerology is concerned, that it's being a high frequency number, now I want to talk about the 144,000. Okay? So now, just think about that number. We just was talking about numerology here. Numerology would add up that number. So if you have 144,000, you got a one, you have a four, you have a four, you have a zero, zero, zero. So one plus four is five, right? Five plus the other four is going to be nine. Nine plus the other zero plus the other zero plus the other zero is going to bring you right back to nine. So now we have nine, which is a divine frequency, okay? In the, in the biblical text, in the book of Revelations, they talk about this 144,000, this so-called elect. And in our physical reality, we have like religious people, you know, religious groups like the, um, like the Jehovah Witnesses, for example. The Jehovah Witnesses, their religion is based upon them only being the elect of God. You gotta come until this is this this is just man, man doing this here is dividing and separating based upon man's limited mindset, saying, Okay, I'm gonna create this religion, and those that follow this particular religion right here, those are gonna be the so-called elect, those that honor God this kind of way right here are the only chosen ones, right? And they got their little tower, and then they come around on Saturday and they knock on your door and they let you know about Jesus from their idea from their belief hey hey aren't how you doing so they let you know about how they look at the world through their limited idea of what the 144,000 is but we just did the math the math on that and the 144,000 equals nine so why is it that our DNA strains are coiled up like a nine. Our hair is coiled up like this here, nine spiraling frequency. Cats have nine lives. Then why is 432 hertz of healing energy, uh, energy that will heal your body? Uh, what is so important about the number nine? Okay. <laughs> And then, so not only the Jehovah Witnesses, <coughs> excuse me, not only will the Jehovah Witnesses say that they are the ones, the elect, then when you get to spirituality, they'll have these so-called woke people, and then they'll say that they are the chosen ones. So how do you know that these people are chosen? Or they just regurgitate? Or they, because you know, these humans, us humans, we want to... We want to be seen, you know, we want to be heard. Some of us sometimes want to leave with our ego, you know, yeah. <laughs> but what is the biblical text talking about in the book of Revelation for this 144,000? 144,000 at 40, my hair just curled. <laughs> I went from straight hair to super curly last year. I feel like I'm upgraded. That's a beautiful thing. You know, we do get upgrades, so just like our blood, our blood changes too, based upon our diet, based upon our mindset. Yeah. They, and, and so we, and based upon us evolving, we can go from, a, a, you know, a tainted blood type back to the old Anunnaki type blood when we start to love on self and take care of the body and open up our mind as far as consciousness is concerned. So I want to share my knowing of this here 144,000 with you though today. It is really not anything about the outside. It is more of a divine frequency based upon whether or not your kundalini energy has risen within you. Yeah, your text has changed too, Miss B and so, yeah. Yeah, because we all evolved and it's the age of Aquarius. We're, we're that dormant, because see, we, we're, we were told about this dormant DNA that doctors and you know people that do research on it they call this junk dna but no no there's nothing junk about it it just wasn't the season for it to be ignited right so being that we're in this age of aquarians aquarius all knowing and awakening our body energetically is picking up signals or resonance of frequencies because everything here is energy frequency and vibration right and so 
is picking up the frequency that this is the age. Remember in the biblical text, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, when it said the, the disciples in that parable, in that allegory text was asking the Christ conscious one, when will be the time or the age of thy coming? It wasn't about Christ cracking through no sky and coming to save us in physical form. It was simply stated, what is the season as it pertains to the law of rhythm that this Christ consciousness will turn, return back to man. When man in physical form's first eye will open up again. When man in physical form will get up from the great sleep or slumber that he or she has been in for umpteen years. This is that season. So the 144,000 based upon that being this season is gonna be those who are tuned to the frequency of Kundalini energy rising. So this, what I'm talking about, is something that's happening inside of the body. It's something inside, energetically. This is why I, my passion is so much teaching people about the power within, like the power within course that I was talking about, about detoxing the body, about loving on self, about healing the law or self, right? Because in healing your body, and in searching for knowledge, you increase your frequency of your body. Your blood is renewed. This is why in the biblical text, it says that the Christ conscious one's first miracle was when he turned water into wine at the wedding, right? It was a renewing of the blood. It was it was kundalini energy rising. And he was like saying, what are you doing? He said to his his, his mother at the wedding, what are, you, what are you calling me for? It's not my season yet, right? But instantly... His blood, it was an allegory text telling you the blood had been renewed. It became the season at that point. That's why it marked the first miracle in the biblical text. He who has an ear, let him hear. So with this being said, so if you know anything about chakra puja energy, you know that each chakra puja energy correlates with a different organ in your body, right? And these chakra puja energies, I teach, I do consultations. I do consultations, I do the power within transformation course because the lower chakra pools of energy sometimes are so stagnated that the people can't, can't rise to their higher self. So they can't attune themselves to this frequency. Make, what I'm saying here is that their kundalini energy is not rising because they have stumbling blocks in the way. And oftentimes it'd be that root chakra, which is like survival mode, right? Sometimes it's like the sacral chakra, which is they, which is they create activity and pleasure. Or then it becomes the solar plex, which is the power and will. And so this is what equivalent to when the Christ conscious one was saying, I am from above. There's two, two, two meanings to that. The physical meaning is that I'm using my highest chakra pools and energy because I know that they are more divine. They're, they're more of a, in tune with the divine frequency, the source. You are from below. You still, and your lower self, you still battling with trauma. You still battling with creativity. You still got the ego leading you. <laughs> I am from above you or from below. But that also, that's the physical now, but that also is interpreted in a spiritual way. I am from above. I am out of this realm. I exist in other multiple realities. <laughs> Where the frequency there, based upon my consciousness, I can go and be resurrected there <laughs> and leave this here reality behind equivalent to when the biblical text says, how long will I suffer with you? <laughs> yeah. And, and how, how, how the Christ conscious one was saying, I'll make you fishers of men saying, you know, I'm low. I will not be with you always because once you attune your frequency to the 144 once your kundalini energy expands you in another spiritual plane plane like consciously and this is with the church people so to speak they they will call like the rapture you know some will go some will stay you know this is this is this this is in the, in uh, revelations when they're talking about the separation of the tares you know the wheat and the tares like right so, in order for you wanting to get the frequency, the Kundalini energy frequency to rise, it is, 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 is a journey that you have to go on, a journey of loving self, of knowing self. It's work that you have to do. It's questions that you have to ask first. 
See, they have some people that came in this room and heard, and heard me talking about the 144,000 and it went above their head. They ain't ready to ask no question. They ain't ready to listen. They have ears, like the biblical text says, but they didn't hear nothing. They have eyes, but they ain't even seen anything. Because they're not open for this. They're not ready for this. They're not about to open up no kundalini. They probably, they could be in a place in their journey where they're in religion. And religion is a stumbling block for them right now. Because religion is telling them, if you open up your first high, don't do that. Because that's what the devil at. You got so all these conspiracy theories. Type, but it was teaching you about a frequency. <laughs> about a God frequency that you, the reason why you came forth in physical form is for you to search one day and yearn one day to return back to the bosom of God by attuning your body to this frequency, by healing your trauma, by rising from the dead, so to speak, from your lower self, the lower self in the physical reality. You listen to music. If you listen to music, you know what the lower self is all about, money, sex, and power. It's lower self. But there's more to yourself, God, than your lower self. Money is really a beautiful tool in the physical reality to play with. You came forth for the game of life, God, but you also came forth for the higher self, too, to remember that you God now. Yeah. So it ain't all, you could you could transform the energy of the lower self to, to energies that'll benefit you higher in the higher self. <laughs> yeah, you can. You could heal that root chakra. You could heal that sacred chakra. You could heal that, that solar plex. And you could transform all of that energy to an energy that is conducive of love, of your self-expression, of your knowing and your knowledge. Because we go, go back to, to, to the numerology, how I was teaching you that the one plus the four plus the four equals the nine. The nine being the highest form of energy. So your lower chakra energies even though, even though they be your, the worst or the hardest stumbling blocks for you, as far as the divine frequency, if we add up, see, all of these chakra pools of energy correlates with a certain number. The lower chakras pools, the, the root chakra is like a, only like a four. The, the sacral chakra is only like a six. The solar plexus is only like a ten energetically as far as numerology is, is concerned. The heart chakra is a 12. But when you get to your throat chakra, you, you vibrate. You're talking about six, uh, um, 16. When you get to your third eye, you're talking about 96. But then when you get to the crown chakra, it's multiplied by a thousand. So you'll know it. You're 96. Your, 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 your first eye is 96 in that divine frequency as far as numerology is concerned. 96. But your crown chakra, this, this is your ability to tap in to Christ's conscious one. It multiplies all the other numbers in the Lord's body. <laughs> all the other chakra pools of energy is multiplied by a thousand when you begin to have that Christ consciousness open up. Because now you have made the union that they're talking about in the biblical text. You know how they talked about the union with the bride and the groom? That union. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that left and right brain hemisphere becoming one, the subconscious connecting to the superconscious. This is why if you ever go to Google or somewhere online or you ever see a, a, a picture of kundalini energy rising, you'll probably see a person standing there and you'll see this white light like they're being illuminated, so to speak, because they're being, it's like ascension is happening in their body. If you know anybody that had an experience of kundalini energy, you know they'll tell you that it was like an out-of-body experience. It felt so divine. It felt, felt so powerful. It felt like all of the blood vessels just moving and pulsating at one time. It felt like you could feel your molecules, the cell, the atoms, the powerful energy force in your body because at that very moment, their blood is being renewed church people don't 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 reverence it like this here they look outside of themselves and they think it's all about jesus blood no baby it's about your blood <laughs> remember the song in church you can when you become conscious you can look at church and you can go to man i really want to go to church i gotta find me a church you can go to church and you can get up in there and you could be you could be singing and dancing with them people, but you have this a renewed mindset, especially this old song that we used to sing in church. Oh, the blood, 
Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood done signed my name. It's a whole new meaning now to the blood because you now understand it is your blood that needs to be renewed. You now understand that you're the Christ conscious one. That you, you had to lay down and sacrifice some, some things. That you had to carry the cross in this physical reality. And it was hard carrying that cross. Sometimes it was hard to bear. You had thorns in your head at a moment and place in your journey. But guess what? You knew you was going to be crucified. You know some part of you had to die in order for you to be resurrected. But when you became resurrected, you said, oh, the blood. Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see what the blood has done? Remember that song? Do I have any church people up in here that used to be in church and figured it out and cracked the code and realized that it wasn't the devil up in here? Realized that this was just my subconscious mind? That realized numero as far as numerology is concerned, that, that once my kundalini energy rides inside of me, I will become a new being, that I'll be resurrected? That then you realize that the Bible was about me. I'm the beast. <laughs> my kingdom finally come. I don't know, already been through hell. You realize, you begin to take it personal and you realize there's a story about me, to me, from me. That I left something, a, 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 a biblical text behind to guide me and lead me back to me. Back to the knowing of myself. So now I, I become the chosen one. I become the chosen one for those that, that ain't there just yet. And so now with all of this knowledge, now with all of this wisdom, I'm passionate about sharing it with other people. So, so maybe today might not be those people day, but maybe one day they'll finally understand the code, the divine frequency that lives inside of them. <laughs> we grew up, of course we grew up. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I behaved like a child, I thought like a child. But when I became, I put away those childish things. I didn't think no longer that Job was my uncle. No, Job was me. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone, but it was a point in everybody's life on this life where you lost something. Job lost all he had. Job and Ezekiel and, and John and Peter and Paul, all of those expressions of life in that allegory text was just telling me the different stages I must go through during my becoming stage, becoming the Christ conscious one, because it is the season. It is the season. And so there are some people in the physical reality, they ain't about to become, now come on, come on now, it's not the lifetime for them. It's not the like time for them. But everybody choose it though. Let them choose. They, 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 like Robert Frost says, two roads diverted and I, I chose the road less traveled by and it has made all of the difference in the biblical text. They tell you, broad is the way that leads to destruction and many gonna find that. Narrow is the path that leads to eternal life and few will go. But it's about you. It ain't about who's going and who's staying. It's about you. And you go in there consciously, energetically. This is why it is so important that you that I'm, I'm teaching you about the live foods. I don't care what you eat. I'm trying to electrify your electric body, God. I'm trying to get you to remember that you are God. I don't care about your teeth like that, but I know when you all pull, I know when you all pull, you get rid of them toxicities in your body. I know when you all pull, you actually, you actually lubricate in that pineal gland that'll have you with mental clarity, that'll have you begin to want to search and seek, find knowledge and wisdom, but the fool despise wisdom. That's what the fool does. This is, this is biblical text here. I try to call you a fool, but this, this, this fool, they despise this wisdom. The ego and some of the fools make them feel like, oh, I'm the one. I'm the Jehovah Witness and I'm the 44,000. Yeah. Yeah, because I picked the right religion. They talking about me. No, it ain't you. I'm the seven day of Venice. I'm the 44,000. No, no, it can't be you. No, I'm Baptist. We do Holy Ghost healing and deliverance over here. We the 44,000. When it's all about a divine frequency of a kundalini energy rising within that person that decides I am the Christ conscious one. And I want them to get to know something about myself. 
and I'm not the body. <laughs> and I want to understand myself because I, I know this one thing. I'm not even a believer no more. I know this one thing. I know that love is understanding. And I'm going to love on myself. I'm going to seek knowledge on myself. I want to know how my body operates. I want to know how my mind operates. I want to know. I'm tired of being a believer. It's time for me to know that I know that I know. Well, what do you know about you? You know, we know lyrics of songs. We know when Beyonce is going to be in our town. We know how much those tickets cost. We know about what's going on in the White House. We know what's going on down the street in people's house. We know all of that meaningless stuff outside of ourselves. But when you going to get to know you, God? Hmm? When you going to get to know about your hair? When are you going to get to know about your skin? When are you going to get to know all of these organs and how they function? <laughs> when are you going to get to know about your blood type? Do you know what your blood type is right now? Because it, it does change. Because once upon a time you were the Ana Anunnaki blood type, which is the O. I don't know what you are now, but your blood changes too. <laughs> Or you think you could just go, you could just go to church and you could just eat the body of the so-called Jesus. And you could just drink the grape juice and, and you think the little phony grape juice. You, you're going to do the law of assumption on the grape juice and the crackers and just drink of that so you could be made whole again. But you're not going to do in the physical purify your own blood. God. Huh? You're not in the physical going to take care of your own body. God. Huh? It don't make any common sense when you go outside of you and you do these foolish things and you don't do nothing for yourself. No thing for yourself. When life is about you, life is happening through you, not to you. Nobody out there in your physical reality is doing nothing to you but your thoughts. But you might not know that just yet because you never even asked a question about yourself. You just seeking to make sure that that past all right. And but my boss said this, and my doctor said this, and my mom said this. But who do you say I am? When is your kingdom gonna come, dog? Because you have energetically the ability, everybody has the innate ability to tap into source energy and become that 144,000 frequency that I'm talking about, the chosen one. Because the kingdom of God is within you. It has always been, and it is the season for you to rise, God. So when are you going to walk on water? When is your dormant DNA going to be activated when you can see through people? When, when are you going to be able to discern spirits, God? When, well, why is it that you got to get a reading? Why can't you read your own self? Why you got to stand up in a church line to get prayer, God? Why can't you heal your own self? This is what I'm here for to help you heal yourself. This is the part of the story that I decided to play. When you gonna do your part? Because we are all members of the so-called body of Christ. What member are you? <laughs> Woo! The 144,000 is a divine frequency inside of man. You are the beast. The biblical text is written about you. You are your savior. You are the one that's going to crack through the so-called sky. But it ain't the sky outside of you. No, 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 no. The sky is right here. It is your first eye, your subconscious mind, your Akashic records, if you know anything about that from spirituality. But maybe you still in religion. So in religion, it's your land book of life. Okay? We all saying the same thing, baby. We all are tuning to try to get to the same frequency, baby. Religion might decide to defy us. Separate us. As far as race, religion, politics, that's all about separation, baby. But there's only one God, one faith, one baptism. And it's all the tune to an energy, a frequency, and vibration, baby. That's it. That's it. <sighs> so there's no one greater. It's just people are just in, in different places in their life. People are just in different seasons in their life. When it's going to be the time of the age of that coming. When it's going to be your season for Christ consciousness. And so, so the so-called separation happens. And because based upon consciousness, 
Some will ascend based upon their consciousness. Because that's, that's, that's all we're dealing with, the laws of polarity. you either rising or you dying. Either going to other parallel realities based upon where you are emitting your frequency and, and receiving fre frequencies from, are you just going just gonna to wake up? <laughs> and seemingly to you, you're going to be pushed back to 1901 or 1802, something like that, based upon you not even asking a question. Because you got to want this thing. You got This is why it says asking you shall receive. Some people ain't even asking, what am I here for? What was I born to do? Some people never even ask themselves that. And it is just baffling because that, that, leads, that leads to expansion. When you ask, you get expanded. Because God never asks himself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to. So being, being that you asked, what you did is you opened up your land book of life. You went inside of your subconscious mind. You went into those Akashic records. And you retrieved a file. Because you already know you know everything. Your infinite intelligence. So you decided to ask a question. Why am I here? What was I born to do? Why do I act like this? See, if, you, if you're not all the way all the way conscious and ready for, for the big spiritual things, if you're still stumbling with daddy issues and he don't like me type issues and I wanted that job type issues and, and he don't think I'm sexy type issues, that begins with healing that part of you and say, why am I worried about this? Ask that question. Why do I keep thinking about that hurt? And it happened 20 years ago. How about you ask that question? So you can answer you because you all that exist and you all the one that could only answer that question. And maybe the answer is because I don't feel worthy. I don't, I don't feel loved. I don't feel lovable. And when you get your answer, you work on doing that thing. Work on loving yourself. Work on approving yourself so yourself can feel worthy. Ask the lower chakra questions now in order for you to rise to the higher chakra questions in order for you one day to ignite this divine frequency inside of you equivalent to 144,000. So your kundalini energy can rise within you so you too can become the Christ conscious one. It is that simple, but a lot of people ain't asking nothing. Yet give them a conversation, a spiritual conversation, and they look at you you're like, oh, wow. All right, I'm about to go. That means they ain't ready. They come into a life like this one here. She talking about the 144,000, and she talking about his knee. Oh, no, that's blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Let me get up out of here. Pastor said that you're not supposed to do that. You let everybody outside of you set you back umpteen years, lifetime after lifetime. You've been here over and over. A lot of you have told me, you look familiar. Where are you from? It's something about you. No, it's an energy. <laughs> no, it's the fact that this deja vu. We have been doing this thing called life for eons and eons. Are you, we, along our journey, become our own stumbling block. Nobody out to get you. You realize that was you taking your time. It was you refusing to seek knowledge. It was you getting off the live when you should have stayed your butt on that live and tried to make sense of what that person was telling you because you knew it resonated with your soul because you knew the larger part of you wanted expansion and you denied yourself. You denied yourself. You denied yourself day in and day out. You were so hard on yourself when it all could be easy because you, you should know yourself. And you should talk to yourself. And you should ask questions to yourself. But you don't want to be alone with yourself. You can't be alone with yourself. When you're alone with yourself, you start crying. When you're alone with yourself, you don't feel right. You don't feel a part of something. When you are all of everything. When you are nothing and everything at the same darn time. When you're God. Having a human experience. But you don't even understand that. You need to understand this thing at an energetic level. At a frequency level. That you're God. That there's something about me. Why did I come forth in this physical form? I didn't come here to be no doctor, no lawyer, no engineer, no clerk, no garbage man. I come forth here to remember that I'm God. But I believe, but I can be occupying before I come. And I could do those things. 
while here and I can have fun along my journey while here. But I'm like, hold up. The larger part of me. <laughs> the larger part of me is my spiritual essence where I stem from. And it speaks through me and to me and guides me in my physical form back to me. Because I'm all that exists. I'm here in physical, but I'm also in my spiritual essence. And sometimes my spiritual side of me talks to me and tell me, no, don't do that. But when I'm at my low self, I don't even hear myself talking to me. I ignore myself when I'm at my lower self. I hear that some that something said voice and I just ignore it. And then then then, then life ain't so great for me. And then I wish I would have. But then we get to a point where we ignore our higher self, our inner being so long till we become so domiciled. So out of touch. You see these people, you see your reflection, some of them that are so out of touch with who they are. And you're like, wow, is there a soul in there anymore? Wow, are you alive? You don't seem real. You've been ignoring yourself for so long. Why is that? Why is that? Why is it that you shut down your subconscious mind? Why is it that you haven't been researching through the Lamb Book of Life? Why is it that you won't even know nothing about your Akashic records no more, God? You still sleeping, slumbering on you? It makes no common sense for your journey. When you're going to wake up and realize that you are the 144,000? When you're going to wake up and get to know yourself, God? This, this video ain't about you You purchasing nothing from me. This is this video about you. When you go do something about you, about your soul that lives on. Because this is the season for you to be waking up to rise. Instead of going back through this energetically, energetically pulsating cycle on rinse and repeat. You don't get this here all ready for eons and eons. Consciousness is about rising. Back to God. So start the work now. Don't get left behind energetically. Don't continue to sleep on you. COVID and all of these things outside in the physical reality, we're really, if you truly pay attention, is designed to make you figure out what's important and what was not. And energetically, the ones that are falling by the wayside, they are energetically not ready. So they must die. Don't worry. Energy is never destroyed. They live on and they'll come back but the frequency of the universe is expanding it's expanding so when they die they gotta catch up when you die you gotta catch up it's just all one god but you gotta catch up the universe ain't gonna sit here waiting for you because you on the slow bus no you're gonna just have to die at that time and come back stop dying out renting and repeating because the universe is expanding to higher levels of consciousness, God. Start asking questions. Keep up. Start increasing your frequency, whether it is through water, whether it is through asking questions, whether it is through meditation, whether it is through mindfulness, whether it is detoxing your body, whether it is listening to 432 hertz of healing frequency, whether it is Tibetan bowls, whatever you do, when you do, what you do, increase your frequency, God. <laughs> Stop looking for a savior, God. You're it. That's the message. You're it. And you become it and you will know it. You won't be believing. You'll know it when you are attuned to 144,000. You're going to know it. You ain't going to miss that. You ain't going to miss that experience. I promise you. You're going to know. So if you ask the question, well, how do I know? You ain't just there yet. Because you will know when you have risen. <laughs> because all things will be, be behind you and behold all things shall be new you'll be a new creature you can't have you know a spiritual encounter like this and still be the same so you can't get to this here frequency and still be doing your little old routine you probably don't even when you get to the old 
this here type of frequency, you will probably quit a job that you've been working on for 25 years. You probably move from the state that you was in because you ain't vibing on that frequency. You probably get away from your family because you realize that your family is the people that's vibing on the frequency that you are now on, not the one that you left behind. You probably don't even dress the way that you used to. You probably don't care about that stupid, I'm feminine kind of bull crap and I have to be dainty and this and that because you didn't realize that you done put together the right and the left brain hemisphere. Your yin and your yang is balanced. You are the male and you are the female because you are now whole. You're God. You're all. You're complete. <laughs> Woo. That's beautiful. We are so beautiful. We are so beautiful. We are so powerful. We are so divine. But sometimes we sleep on our divinity. It is a season to wake up and stop sleeping on you, God. It's the season to wake up and attune yourself to a frequency that has been calling you. That has been calling you for umpteen years. For eons and eons, don't get left behind in this conscious shift. It is a conscious shift that I am speaking of here. And those that really have ears, you are the only ones that I'm talking to because you're right there. You are right there. Keep going. Keep asking. Keep getting to know yourself. Keep doing research. Don't just sit there and ask pastor or somebody outside of you to tell you what they think of anything. It is time for you to discern. It is time for you to discern you or discern the people around you. Discern your spirituality. Discern everything because it is called getting to know thyself because only you exist. Only you exist. And, and, and it ain't about to get about getting to know the crystals. It ain't about getting to know. It ain't about to get into know numerology. It ain't about to get to know astrology just yet. First, you gotta get to know you, and then you could understand that life happens to you, and that you are the star, and that you are the greatest crystal that you will ever own. That you are that darkness in the sky. That's your melanin. That's your carbon footprint. That you are that star dust. It's not about outside. First, get to know inside. What is the greatest commandment of them all? It's for you to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart. Well, where is God? The kingdom of God is within you. Okay, okay. Well, what is the second of them all? What is the second of the greatest commandment? For me to love my neighbor as myself. Why is that? Because my neighbor too is myself. Because life is happening through me, not to me. God, it all starts with you, baby. Get to know you, baby. If you, with all your getting, get an understanding of you, baby. They got people waiting on me. I got to cut this live to go. But get to know you. That's what I came to tell you. You are the 144,000. When you attune to the divine frequency, this is your birthright. Attune to the divine frequency of your birthright. Your birthright. Stop rinsing and repeating. Lifetime after lifetime. That's what your deja vu is all about, God. You have deja vu over and over again because you've been in this realm for so long. You have birthmarks letting you know in last lifetime where you left off, where you died out. The chakra pool of energy that you died out on and did not get to know yourself fully because you cast yourself away. Even at a cellular level, your cells of your body, your atoms, your molecules, your blood, all of this is alive and is working day in, day out to save your life, waiting for the day that you decide we're going to rise. And so, in not taking care of your avatar self, you are casting yourself, your cells of your body. You are casting yourself away, God. Because you like to say stuff like, oh, we only live once. That's a lie. Oh, no, no, no. We've been doing this thing here for eons. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's, a, it's based upon the seasons. There's nothing new under the sun. The biblical text will tell you it's based upon the law of rhythm and seasons. But it is a season for you to rise. Oh, okay. I gotta wrap this up. I'm so thankful for you all that came because you all needed to hear this message. 
you all need to keep on asking yourself why. If you need any help, follow my, um, check out my transformation course. I do consultations, but baby, we're in the season where the beast, you, is about to be unleashed. That dormant DNA about to be unleashed here in this physical reality. Are you ready for you? <laughs> Are you ready for the totality of you? Have you been asking the questions? Are you ready for the frequency? Because if you ain't ready for the frequency, you're going to die young. Are you ready for the frequency? Are you ready to be alone in the room with God? Now I'm talking about yourself. Are you ready? Either you're ready or not. Either you're ready or not. I came just in time to hear what I need to hear. Getting ready. I'm ready for me. Oh, I love that. Hey, V. I love that. I love that. Hey, Ashley, I'm ready. I'm God. Oh, I love it. Y'all ready. I'm so happy. I feel so happy to have some reflections like you all. Because I understand that life happens to me. And look at my reflections being ready. That's like music to my soul. It's music to my soul. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, T. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, look at Joseph up in here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Mo, Moje. <laughs> Sheila, they ready. They ready. Oh, I thank God. I thank the God in you for being ready for you. Hey, Star. Hey, hey, D. I'm ready. Hey, Twin and Steph. I'm ready. Oh, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for all of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for doing the work. Yes, I see you, Soul Tribe. I'm ready for me. It's a blessing to see other God. It's so, oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. May Tech 78. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Crafty. Oh my God, y'all ready? V, Zach, yeah. I needed a melanated life partner to enjoy this with this season. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yes, Miss B. So, yes, Ashley. The real, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank y'all for the likes. Thanks, Brenda. Stay, yes, yes. I'm so happy y'all heard this message. I wasn't even looking up in there. They got a hundred people up there. Thank you for being here. I just want to make sure you're ready. Be ready for you because it is my promise to you that you are the 144,000 that that biblical text was talking about. Attune yourself to this divine frequency. For those who are late coming in the room after I get to where I'm going, I'll upload this here video to my YouTube channel. Check out my YouTube channel. Oh, I got eight minutes left. I'm on time. I got to get up out of here. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes.